Morning folks. Today is going to be somewhat different shape than what you've seen in the past 30 some odd days. <laughs> it's been a while. This one here, this particular soap is brought to us from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. This one here is uh, was made for the uh, Shave at World, which is a uh, Facebook group. Scent name is on this one here is Han Paolo. I don't know if this is a, considered a seasonal or if it's discontinued now. Uh, I know over time that this label has changed, and uh, but I, I've lost track of what all is going on with this particular scent. But anyhow, as you can see here, this uh, robot, this is Robbie, the way I remember it, and that's a Crown King uh, Shavette right there. When that particular one came out, there was another one that had a wood scale. I think it was considered a tally wood. Anyhow, this particular Shavette takes a full DE, and I when I ordered my... Uh, shave that uh, I ordered the one with the wood scale at any rate this is uh, one of the neat things that uh, artisans do for a lot of the groups is uh, uh, support in the way of creating uh, soap and aftershaves and all kinds of cool stuff for for a group and I forgot to bring it I got a, a, a mug too a coffee mug forgot to bring it in here anyway this is also from the crown king line here um, and of course, uh, got the matching aftershave. <clears throat> like I said, the uh, <laughs> the label did change. Uh, there was concern about you know the robot uh, being uh, trademarked. Yes, there we go. That's the one I'm looking for. And I got it whipped up here in my uh, bowl here. That's a thrift store find. It's a little on the west side. It's not exactly drippy. You've probably seen this in the previous videos. Uh, this one here is an Envy Shave brush that was part of the Facebook group there. Shave at World. And there's Robbie the Robot. And these were numbered. Uh, this one here is a number two. If I remember right, they uh, started with also number zero. There was a reason for that. Somebody wanted to number zero. <laughs> and uh, anyhow, it was, we had a lot of inter interesting characters over time. Um, anyway, there's uh, that there. And uh, the blade of choice today is... Uh, a uh, single edge blade. It's a DE snapped in half or pre-cut in half. This one here is the Persona X series. And I've had this box for a moment, so a new box will look a little bit better than this one here. And it's about half empty. These blades work well for me. I got a link down below for these also if you're interested in hunting them down. Also, one of the things that Douglas did um, was create a uh, shavette for the group. And... Uh, there was uh, two of these, uh, two uh, groups of these made. There was the first group, and then there were some that missed out, so they made another uh, group of these uh, Shavettes. And, uh, you know, the coloration, you know, to go right along with the label and so on and so forth. It, anyhow, it's just, like I say, cool things that artisans do for uh, for some of the groups in support of. I'm going to use the uh, Phoenix Artist Q Tremets, uh, Pre Shave Christmas, uh, Pre Shave Cube. And, uh, so yeah, it's, uh, been a long moment since I have shaved with the shave head. It's been over a month. And so, uh, I thought when I did come back into, I guess you might say my normal <laughs> routine, uh, I thought this would be the one to, um, come back to and, uh, do a video with it and kind of speak to how I got started with all this in the way of, uh, uh, YouTube videos. Ronnie is the, uh, I guess you might see the ringleader of the group. And uh, how I found out about this is way back in the day, uh, back in 2015, uh, Douglas and company used to uh, have a, a group that would be online. It's called uh, Wet Shavers Roundtable. And they would do a video, I think, once a week. And uh, uh, they would have a group of guys come on and talk about various different things uh, concerning uh, uh wet shaving and uh ronnie was on there and uh the facebook group shave at world i think because i was trying to update my memory this morning i think it was at the end of the de uh december uh in 2015 is when the group was created and ronnie was on the uh wet shavers round table and it had mentioned it so that's how i found the group and uh, went ahead and joined and uh it was at that point in time uh, pretty close to that is when I bought bought my first shave at. I think it was at the beginning of January. Uh, ordered two. I had a classic samurai and uh, a Parker SRB. And uh, 
anyhow, that's how I got started into the group. And uh, Ronnie was encouraging uh, the group, you know, that wanted, wanted to, to uh, you know, do YouTube videos because at that point in time, the number of uh, Shavette videos, uh, how you say, was uh, far and in between. Just wasn't very many of them. So um, that's how I got started. <laughs> and uh, as you can probably imagine, um, for me being in front of the camera and... Uh, <laughs> not only am I doing a shaving video, trying to talk and shave at the same time in a relatively new at wet shaving to begin with and doing it with a shavette, yeah, uh, talking about being a nervous wreck. I'm a little bit more comfortable in front of the uh, camera now, but still, uh, uh, it can be quite nerve wracking when you're shaving with a straight razor or a shavette because you're talking and shaving at the same time with something that requires uh, the your undivided attention. So it, it did take a while to, how you say, get better at it. And plus develop my routine. Because over time I figured out what works best for me. And a, a what, what might be considered a wet lather or a moist lather. Uh, in other words, uh, slickness is king. <laughs> and usually the, the more moist or wet that your lather is, the slicker it is. And slickness does really matter when it comes to a shavette shave or a uh, straight razor shave. And um, that's what the blade exposure looks like, if you can see that. It is there. Um, at any rate, <clears throat> excuse me, go ahead and get started with, uh, with the green. Well, that's how I got started. It was... with the support of Ronnie, encouraging us to uh, do some videos. And been doing them ever since. My thought still is, and as I first started, was to do videos just to show the, I guess you might say, just a random guy uh, sh sharing his experiences, good and bad, <laughs> with uh, traditional sh shaving or wet shaving. And uh, not that I ever expected my channel to grow like it has, but I really do appreciate it though. number of people stopping by from time to time watching my videos and commenting because I never expected when I hit a hundred I thought yeah, wow that was pretty awesome but in comparison to other uh, YouTube channels yeah I was still in the infancy stage and depending on how you look at it I still am considered considering some of these YouTube channels depending on what you're watching you know it's got over you know like a uh, over like 500,000 uh, uh, subscribers and all kinds of craziness, you know, that I don't ever expect my channel to get that high, but uh, look where I'm at now, and I never expected that either. That is one of the things uh, that if you're watching some of my videos here of late, I've used a considerable amount of gear that's uh, either no longer in production or at least the scent is no longer available from uh, the artisan. And uh, there's been a lot of support over time. With a lot of cool stuff for us to use. And a, quite a variety too. So in other words, if you're not in the floral, there's plenty of other scents out there that, you know, that you can enjoy uh, using floral as an example. I usually just do a two-pass shave when it comes to shave vets or straight razors. Uh, I usually get a pretty adequate shave just with a two-pass shave.
I might go across the green on the cheeks, but that's about as much as I do. Uh, cross the green on the neck, I don't really have much of a need. I have this spot right here along this particular jawline where the hair grows in different directions, but I, um, for the most part, uh, I only have to do that every once in a while. So we're just looking at a two pass shave for me in most cases. And if you ever get started with a shave head or a straight razor, it is quite all right if you need to do a quick touch up to use uh, your favorite shaver, whether it's a DE, single edge, or whatever the case might be. And especially if you start starting out, uh, I remember reading an article from uh, <laughs> From a sharpologist back when getting started and something like this a shave head or straight razor it's just to start with a cheek for about a week in other words develop your technique your confidence and then progress you know i guess you might say each part of the face as time goes on as opposed to doing like i did and kind of jumped in with all fours <laughs> yeah. some people you know that's that's just the way you know they learn and uh, for other folks that really need to develop the confidence, it wasn't that I had confidence. I was just that, you know, how you say that enthused to get started. And typically that's how a lot of things start. You're real excited and then you cut yourself. And, <laughs> and then you kind of get concerned about doing it ever again. It, it does take a lot of focus. It is an art. <laughs> it really is. If you ever watch a person, you know, shave like this with a shave head or a straight razor, it, you, you can see that it, it is an art. Most everybody has a different technique. Stretching, for instance, I can usually, you know, move my head one side or to the other in order to, uh, to stretch my skin. Sometimes I might actually pull on it in order to pull it taut. You know, how much stretching a person needs to do is uh, up to them. It, in other words, my skin's not like your skin. It may not be near as loose. And you may not have such a round jawline. <laughs> Just stuff like that. Your mileage may vary, so you adjust your shave to what you need. Also, if you're kind of wondering, over here on the side, I've got a damp towel that I'm wiping the uh, lather off on from the uh, shaveette. It helps with keeping my sink water clean if you're kind of wondering. And that kind of sort of thing also works with a, a straight razor in that if you're trying to keep the most of the water away from this pivot point right here, that would be one way of doing it. But for me, this was a uh, very economical start going this way. Because you can find inexpensive shavettes that use half of a DE blade. You can snap them to half or do like I do and order them, you know, already pre-cut. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, doing something like that, uh, you can get a shavette box of uh, 100 pre-cut blades, you know, right around the $15 mark, sometimes a little cheaper. Uh, it's a good place to start inexpensive you're not out a whole lot of money after you do it for a while and figure out maybe this just isn't your thing so you can kind of understand how easy it is for somebody to decide to go ahead and use a shavette to start with because like i say it's inexpensive not out a whole lot of money if it's not something for you and plus you'll figure out you know you can get a pretty good shave you know once you get used to the routine and once again you only started out with about 15 dollar investment <laughs> it depends on what website you go to you can pick up a, a parker shavette right under the $15 mark. Uh, it, they vary in price depending on what websites you go to. Uh, thinks, depends on where you go to, you can pick up a Parker Shavette right around between 10, 12 bucks. I think the normal price is right around the 15, 
might creep up closer to 20, depending on which one you're looking at. And of course, there are more expensive shavettes out there. In some cases, some of the prices of a shavette will rival the price of a uh, straight razor. But on the one thing to keep in mind, whenever this blade gets dull, you can always change it out. You don't have to ship it out to somebody to have it rehomed or anything of the sort. There is that upside, but then the downside for most folks that mention shavettes, they say that it's not near as forgiving. Um, I guess, maybe. I don't, for me, I started out with them, and uh, to me, either one will cut me to the same. <laughs> I guess you might say it was more about the uh, startup cost. It's the reason why I gravitated to the uh, shave heads first. And a lot what you'll learn shaving with a shave vet will apply to uh, straight razor. In other words, angle, pressure, focus, all that sort of thing. And I enjoy shaving with straight razors too, so there's that. <laughs> it just depends where you want to start. Some will recommend to go ahead and start with uh, straight razors. And if you, you know, if you're budget allows it it's not such a bad way to go but for me the uh <laughs> shave that was just a at the time my budget was somewhat smaller and uh plus i was so new i was still trying to wrap my mind around everything and i just could not uh at that point in time in other words just shaving with a shave vet much less a straight razor was enough for me mentally to be trying to handle much less a learning how to strop a straight razor and understand what all that meant to me. And, you know, it, there's, it's an art. It really is. And chances are it's not going to come to you overnight. It's going to take a moment. And it does help to get into groups like, you know, for instance, Shavette World that's, uh, in other words, supportive of folks that are shaving with the Shavette and to, uh, that will give some sort of guidance because it is a, your mileage may vary. So in other words, a, a shave it, this style may not work very well for you. And if I had any idea at the time, I definitely would have bought it sooner. But my favorite shave it is a Feather Artist Club uh, Camisori style shave it. The group, you know, was in, you know, was uh, looking into it and a number of us jumped in and decided to go ahead and and get that Camisori style shave it, and it was like, wow, it was so natural to me. Uh, I really do love it. It's my favorite shave it. It will be hard to dethrone it. It really will be. It'll probably have to be another Camisori, because I really do enjoy shaving with it. For me, I figured out that in that particular uh, shave vet that the uh, uh, feather supers would work best for me. I tried the professionals and I just could never get that to work very well for me. Just never could. And the supers seemed to work better for me. The other blade that I've used in it that works quite well for me is the uh, uh, Kai uh, Mild Pinks. Those, those blades work very well for me. I guess you might say those are my top two blades when it comes to feather artisan, uh, you know, feather style blades that are not DE, I guess you might say. One of the reasons, another reason why I was kind of apprehensive in getting one of those is because you have to use those kind of blades. You're not able to use the DE blade. So if you've already started down the DE route and you're looking into a Chevette, it's very easy to get into this because you've already got the blades. There's not any special blades that you have to buy per se. You just have to snap the blade in half and insert it and rock on. But it's like I say, it's not may not be your cup of tea after you start, so you probably want to start further down on the uh, <laughs> on that line of uh, more inexpensive uh, shave vets. There are different styles. 
there are styles that uh, have plastic inserts. Um, for instance, Dovo shave that. Took me a while, but the only blade I ever used in a Dovo is the uh, shave that is the uh, feather hair shaper. In other words, the full size blades. That's the only blade I've ever used in it, and it works quite well with me. I haven't tried anything different in it. Yeah, as you can kind of tell, the restrictor hasn't changed much over time. This is a pretty nice scent. But the uh, artisans that support the groups and just, you know, have really, how can you say, stepped up when somebody asked them to make a group soap, aftershave, shaving bowl, shaving brush, just whatever the case might be. And uh, it's been pretty nice. I mean, hey, it's been a great ride. Like I say, I've been doing these videos since 2016. Channel's grown. Really appreciate it. And, hey, I get great shades with these shave vets. <laughs> Not too terribly rusty. I, I can do a little bit better, you know, but it's been a moment. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe, stay healthy, and smooth shades to you.